is Fox 5 Morning News. So if you're looking to save money in the new year, the best way to do it is by taking a pretty hard look at how you're living. But you'll want to look beyond just the expensive taste and the daily cup of coffee because you can actually save a lot of money by simply reducing your impact on the environment. Claudia's here to talk more about that. She's live in Arlington with more on how you can go green and save green. It really sounds like a win-win, Claudia. It really is. And it's, it's thinking outside the box. I mean, some of these ideas, I mean, as we walked through this when I arrived uh, a little bit earlier this morning, I'm like, wow, I never knew you could save this much money in a year, doing things with really not doing much at all. You know, when you say, hey, in this new year, my New Year's resolution is to save money. I'm going to put money in an IRA. I'm going to put money in a savings account. Well, where are you going to get that money? Here's some easy tips for you. We're going to bring in Brian Keene. He is the president of Smart Power. Super. And yes. what is Smart Power, Brian? Sure. We're a nonprofit marketing organization on clean energy and energy efficiency. So our goal is to get regular people, people who don't care about the environment, people who don't care about energy, to just be smarter with their power. You're kind of like the got milk of... Or the uh, got milk campaign for clean <laughs> energy. Exactly. Makes sense to me. Exactly. All right, show us some easy sure. things that you can do because, I mean, I, I never would have thought of this stuff because people walk out of the living room and your instinct is, okay, I turned off the TV, I'm saving money. Exactly right. But you that's have the remote, not enough. You think you turned off the TV, you think you turned off the cable box, and you think you turned off the DVD. In fact, when you use the remote to turn them off, they're still on. <clears throat> so you turn it off, you go to work, these three objects are still on, to the tune of $175 a year. Oh my goodness. So here's the trick. Just plug them all into a, a, a power strip here, and then when you're done watching TV at night, boom, it all goes off. $175, $175 back right. in your pocket. Exactly Like right. that. We hear so much these days about uh, the light bulbs, getting the sure. energy efficient light bulbs. Yep. Do they really end up saving you money in the end? Huge money. I mean, you and have a, a couple we have a bunch of them here. here. Um, and, it, you know, they said over the life, lifetime of the light bulb, it saves about $30 mm. to the household per light bulb. Put another way, the regular light bulbs, about $4. You leave one on for an hour. It's about $4 an hour per year for the household. Most homes, ours included, you mm -hmm. get to turn off lights, <laughs> and they're on for hours and hours and hours. So put a compact fluorescent in and actually save money when you do it. That's wonderful. Otherwise, money's just flying out the window. Exactly right. And, and I guess, too, you mentioned as you leave the room, turn off the lights. It's I mean, just it, it, turn them off. Exactly right. You want to be energy efficient? Mm -hmm. You don't have to buy anything. All you have to do is turn off what you got. All right, guys. We got another, like, very, very easy tip for you here. Case in um, point. Case in point. All right. People always have... <clears throat> Hey, so. <laughs> People always have like a couple of these. I have like at least three of these plugged up exactly. in the house. And, and what you do is you and you're like me. You have a plug Charging in the Charging up your cell phone. You pull it out and you go to work. Now, and what is that doing? What's going on? This is still pulling power off the grid and it's charging you about $10 a year just for, to keep this in. So you're off at work and this is you're still paying to charge this. Just unplug it. And if you have like two or three, there's twenty, thirty dollars a exactly year. Right. Excellent. Exactly uh, right. Another example that you mentioned, the laptop. I computer. always think. Um, let me hit, yeah. This is the way I think I'm saving money. Okay, exactly it's right. off, right? Exactly, and, and you're wrong. In fact, 75% of the power that a computer uses happens when it's, when it's quote, off. Uh -huh. And the trick is just unplug it, okay? And you unplug it and save the household $50 a year. Oh, my goodness. And, and that's it. Brian, what about, like, coffee makers and toasters? I mean, should I be unplugging all those as well? Not necessarily. Okay. What we're talking about is really home electronics. So okay. it's computers, it's iPods, it's cell phones, TV, VCR, kind of to toasters and coffee makers, not necessarily as much. Um, if you think they'll kind of be like a microwave oven as the digital clock going, so okay. that's power that you're using constantly. Yeah. It's not necessarily doesn't make a lot of sense for a lot of people to right. kind of unplug the microwave. So it's button. all these big electronics. Those Get are the big them unplugged, save so much money at the end of the year. Exactly right. Wonderful advice. We just saved about $300. $300 yeah. right there during that segment. Wonderful. Great yeah. advice. Thank sure. you so much. For more advice, head to our website, myfoxdc.com. Next hour, we're going to go inside uh, our closet here and show you actually how much money you could be making just inside your closet. Yes, those old pair of jeans, uh, an old leather jacket. It's going to blow your mind. We're saving you more money next hour, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Kavir and Steve, back to you guys. And helping you clean out the closet at the same time. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's the bonus. Exactly. Yeah. Claudia, thanks so very much. Sure. It's good Coming stop. up, yeah, it is.